Hey everyone, Atlas here with another Let's Play video. We're here in the heat of battle and we are actually ready to fight. Those aren't my enemies. If you can see on the radar, there are these red dots and they are my enemies. If I could actually find them. If you guys don't know what the game is about, the game is about um, uh, your main character is Keith Maxwell. You have been time traveled into the future and god and um uh, there's so much I want to say and there are more enemies approaching but that won't matter in a moment since they are about to die just in the middle just in the middle just in the middle boom okay so uh, what I just used is called the liberator it is a self detonate remote detonate uh, nuke, I guess I called it that. And where are my wingmen? Right, uh, and the green dots are actually my own wingmen. They are people who I hire. I don't want to actually kill them, but I can, as it seems. That kind of sucks, but, and I am actually about to die. Oh, okay, let's use a sight suppressor. Sight suppressor actually hides my ship. That was not supposed to happen. I just killed all my allies. But no worries, I can do this on my own. I don't need anyone since I am the best. So I just wanted to show you guys what the game is all about. Just a quick gameplay. Um, the game is beautiful, and the reason why I wanted to do this, I wanted, I don't want to play the story mode. I played all of it. So there wouldn't be really any surprises, and you guys can actually go and play the game for yourself. The episodes are not for free, except the first one. So they aren't for free. God, my tongue. So they aren't. Um, uh, you can't play them for free, but you can actually buy the other two episodes. And it's totally worth it since this game does look beautiful and um, also the reason why I wanted to do this, um, this short episode, is I wanted to show you guys how the game looks like, all the physics and stuff, and I also want to say that this game does not get the recognition that it's supposed to. It's an open world game, um, it's fantastic, um, graphics are beautiful, physics, well, they're average, I guess they're better on the PC, but the PC doesn't have all the episodes that it does on the Android, so let's travel to a station. So, um, as you guys can see in the bottom right corner, this game is hacked. <laughs> yeah, I just told you guys to go and buy it. I know, I know. But the reason I said that is because I'm not going to play the story mode. Um, if you want to play the story mode, it's totally acceptable to buy the other two episodes. And, um... Greetings. Mm, no. If you get the goods, I'll find the buyer. No, it's fine. There's more to me than meets the eye. Three, yes. If you get the goods, I'll find I have the buyer. that might be of interest to you. Uh, okay, we'll buy that. So, there's obviously a lot of unexpected things in this game. There are hidden stellar... Why do I keep stating these things, though? There are hidden systems in the galaxy, and I'll show you... I'll show you guys in a second what I mean by systems. Um, what did I just buy? Excuse me? Can somebody please tell me what I just bought? Please? I bought something. I just... I don't know what. Let's equip those. But I don't know what I just bought. Oh, I bought a blueprint. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's unequip... The lowest we have, that's the Turfing Blaster. We'll equip the Icarus Heavy AS, which we'll see in a moment what it actually can do. 
I said I'll show you what I mean by systems, and these are systems. Um, I use energy cells because I hate traveling through jump gates. I use a decatur drive, which needs energy cells. But all these dots that do not have a square around them are hidden systems, which you can buy through the game if you get through everything. They're hidden, randomly spawned off offers through the space lounge, I think. Let's go on the side and see what waits us. <sighs> okay. Yeah, uh, we have some enemies. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh, no, no, do not. Let's use a sight suppressor, wingman, uh, fire at will. Wow. There is a lot of shit going on. They were even heavier than they were before, but that doesn't matter. Liberator does the trick. Did I just eliminate all of my allies as well? I did. Why do I keep doing that? That's not good. Well, at least I don't have to pay him now, so I guess that's one good thing. But the game is really awesome, guys. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of it. And um, if you guys like what I'm doing here, you should probably, um, if you guys want me to do more, um, I will. And um, I'll probably leave a link in the description for the hack since I am using it. And it wouldn't be fair for me to play it and you guys don't get to play it. But it's basically just a mod, so it unlocks stuff and gives you unlimited money. It's, it's not like a hack where you actually have to go and do stuff. You just have to equip that mod. So uh, it's not as much as a hack. But, you know, it does mod your money. So it's... I need to stop stalking. It's not stalking. Talking. So um, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys have been great so far supporting me. And this game was suggested by one of you guys. And I did view it. And I played it a few months ago. And with the recent trailer coming out of Galaxy of Fire 3, Manticore Rising, Manticore Rising, whatever, um, I wanted to show you guys the game and just show off what the game could do. It's fantastic. I love it. And as I said, I don't think the game gets enough recognition for actually what it is. I think it's fantastic. And it's really, it should be on one of your playlists. Um, if you're looking for an open world game where you can just go and fire or shoot at anyone, you should probably play this game. Story is quite captivating. It's um, it does get a little bit tricky to do the missions um, since it is such an interactive game where you have to go around and it's not fast movement. So flying and maneuvering is very hard since um, you are going through galaxy. So uh, that's all I want to say, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment in. The link, no, no, leave a comment down below. Tell me about, tell me what you guys thought. And um, depending on how much feedback I get about the game, I will do more. So thank you for watching. Always, guys, have a great day and stay awesome.